number one Iron Age booty daddy. That's right. Out of all the projects that I have covered, it is time to do a top five projects that I'm actually really excited for this year. Now, I know this says top five of May, but being that this is the first top five that I'm doing, my house, my rules, if you don't like it, get the F out. But subscribe on your way out, because I love you. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. And without any further ado, let's get into my top five that I'm really excited for this year. And then as time goes on and I do more of these, it'll dial it in a little bit. But let me have some fun here. So my number five pick is a project that was announced last year, and I'm super excited for it because I'm a movie and TV guy, and I freaking love it. Guys, you know him, you love him. The man, the myth, the legend, Will Jordan, or as all of us in my area of the internet know him, the critical drinker. That's right, The Critical Drinker is coming out with a short film based off of his, well, fantastic spy novels. This is Rogue Elements, Ryan Drake's story. And ultimately, what makes me excited about this is to see more and more guys who feel the same way about modern media that I do really getting the praise that they're getting and coming up with new fantastic stories or taking the stories they've already come up with and putting them to new mediums, kind of like Hollywood's been doing for, I don't know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 89. They've been doing it for a while, okay? You get my point. Number four. This one is kind of a new one, and I believe it is still crowdfunding. In fact, I believe it is crowdfunding so well, it's got $69,000 right now. Giggity. But ladies and gentlemen, this is The Mythicals by Hojo. Now, The Mythicals has probably the best trailer for any sort of graphic novel that I have seen up to this point. It is engaging, it's funny, it gets to the point, it nails the tropes, and ultimately, it's from a guy who is working his butt off to bring fantastic stories into the world of comics. Number three. This one has been in the works for a long time, and I am following updates on it very, very closely. Number three is from a guy we've had on the channel a couple of times and when he launches this thing you better believe he'll be back this is from christopher moonlight productions this is escape from planet omega 12. what makes me so excited about this is this is going to be an animated sci-fi feature film that is going to incorporate so many different types of technology between AI generation, between uh, programs that help VTubers be VTubers, between practical effects, hand-drawn backgrounds, everything that Christopher Moonlight Productions has been putting into this and all of the updates that he's been putting out, I think are just utterly fantastic and I am absolutely excited for this one. Number two, ladies and gentlemen, the thing that probably launched this little corner of the world in creativeness that we call the Iron Age, or well, it less launched it and more so made it popular, Isom number two. That's right, Eric July is getting ready to announce Isom number two here in the next month or so. Now, although my opinions of Isom have Oh, depleted a little over time, and that's just because I think there's more to the story than what he gave in the first issue. I'm absolutely excited to see the second edition, the second entry for the three arc story, because ultimately I think that what Eric July was able to accomplish with a $3.7 million crowdfunded campaign, well, I'm sorry, self-funded campaign that he did, it, it, it's complicated, it wasn't crowdfunded. I think it's unbelievably fantastic. I think that we showed the world as a community and as a group of people that want good stories to return that guess what? We can send our money elsewhere and that sends a massive message to Hollywood. And that is why I'm really excited to see Isom number two. And finally, we get to number one. Ladies and gentlemen, this campaign absolutely blew me away and the reason that it did is not because i know the guy semi personally but because it's filling a niche within a niche 
and it is bringing people to the table. That's right, Anvil Magazine, the Iron Age magazine created by and curated by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Richard, also known as IronAge.media. And you can find him over on IronAge.media, not IronAgemedia.com, IronAge.media, okay? I think what Richard is doing by trying to highlight creators, he really stepped up his game here. IronAge.media was there as a way for people to review and comment and post and ultimately show off their talents on his website. But what he did with Anvil took that to the next level. He found that volume knob, cranked it up to the 11 and said, guess what? The Iron Age is here. Ultimately, these five projects are the things that I am really, really excited to see come to fruition this year and things that I hope you guys will be able to go and check out yourselves. So let me know what you guys think of this top five. What do you think your top five right now so far for this year are? And I will be doing more of these as long as you guys let me know that you like what I'm doing here. And hopefully you guys will be able to grow yourselves come out with projects that you're doing or just lay some hate on me in the comments down below so ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for checking out a drink with crazy and until next time cheers everybody thank you all so much for checking out this video and i would ask beg borrow and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.